I hear NATO is worried about Russia. Russia spends about $80 billion a year for defense. That is undoubtedly too much. But it's not even a tenth of what God's own country, the USA, spends, plus the $300 billion from NATO states. That amounts to over $900 billion, roughly half of all military budgets combined, just to secure Western claims to power around the globe. And we should be incapable of doing anything against it. And it's taken as a given that our population wants to simply ride it out or sleep through it, just because we have a chancellor that avoids discussing it and prevents the last opportunity to discuss the matter in the German parliament. The Americans run about 600 military bases around the world. Russia, a single one, in Syria. Who has more reason to be fearful of whom? It's Putin suggesting that the Americans end their military maneuvers with South Korea and then North Korea end its nuclear program. Both would carry the same weight and it would be North Korea's hidden intent to do just that. Who dares to think back how North Korea was incinerated under napalm after 1950? In one of the ugliest and deadliest wars in the 20th century. There's a huge debt to be paid. That is almost never mentioned because apparently we don't need to be reminded of it. The mere fact that we're installing missile systems in the Baltics to regain first strike capacity in a nuclear confrontation is an indicator of the insanity of those who govern us. We're hearing that we need to lead an international war on terror. Nelson Mandela used to say, for every killed terrorist come ten more. And that's the truth. In 2001, we had about a thousand Al-Qaeda members in Afghanistan. ISIS today recruits about 30,000 terrorists. And let's compare the actions. If ISIS has killed 10,000 people, that's a terrible number. But the Americans in the Near East are responsible for over 2 million dead since 1991 and then after 2003 in two long wars. Just based on proportions, the sentence rings true. Terror is the war of the powerless, but war is the terror of the powerful, and we must bring an end to it. Instead of listening to Gorbachev, Bush Sr. felt it was necessary to follow through with NATO's eastern expansion plans, as well as pursuing the USA's aspirations for global hegemony. And we've had one war after the other ever since. 1991, Iraq. 1992, Somalia. 1995, Belgrade. 2001, Afghanistan. 2003, Iraq again. Then we have Libya, Syria, Mali. And we Germans always somehow a part of it, a little at a time, approximating the reality of war. Under the banner, we must attend to Africa. We must honor our international responsibilities. That's right, Ms. Merkel and Ms. von der Leyen. We do have international responsibilities in the fight against hunger and misery, but not with bombs and grenades. <laughs> 